to the Adrian. There was no one else to record songs with. <laughs> <laughs> It was actually a learning experience from start to finish. Not only did we decide that we were going to record our own album, we were going to produce our own album and it had to be to a certain standard. I guess it started out as a songwriting experiment which somehow transferred into a recording experiment because of the arc. It ended up being a bit of a snowball effect where uh, the recordings inspired me to write more and then, you know, uh, we recorded more and then it just kept going. If you scream like a boy with his hands in the tree. And I guess there was no definitive point where it, it stopped being an experiment and started being a band. It was just a natural progression. You know this eggshell's gonna break in the zone where the heart is fading, but it's never been this strong. You're waiting out to where your feet don't touch the bottom. It's just a game to you and it's gonna come undone. And his majesty's so fucking cool, but can he give that guy to you or is he under your control? And I'd say we both know love is blood and blood is love Staying on your hands after the final curtain call But it's nobody's fault but man for stepping on the only rose I've seen It's moved from the studio to the stage and I'd like to see us, you know, playing a lot more shows and really showing people that it is a vibrant being out of the studio. I guess the arc was a real kind of backbone to what the Silent Feature album actually is. You know, it was this massive learning curve over a few years of what we wanted to do with not only our own record, but other people's and, and how the space sounded and what we could do with it. It's something that we're very proud of and we were able to cut our teeth on um, other people's records and hopefully not make the same mistakes we did on theirs. <laughs>